Lexus Luxury Small SUV, the NX, has been completely redesigned for 2022. There are improvements, such as a more spacious interior and a new, easier-to-use infotainment system. Also on the list of highlights is the all-new Lexus NX 450h Plus 2022. The NX 450h Plus is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, or PHEV. Lexus offered the NX Hybrid on its previous generation model, the NX 350h, and continues to do so for this new model. But this is the first time you can get a plug-in hybrid. That means you can charge the battery hybrid by plugging it into a power outlet or charging station and drive short distances on electric power instead of the engine. If you charge frequently and mainly drive the NX around town, it will take quite a while between refuelings. The NX 450h Plus is one of the few small luxury SUVs to offer a plug-in hybrid powertrain. The Audi Q5, BMW X3 and Volvo XC60 are the most prominent alternatives. While Lexus hasn't released an official price as of this writing, it's estimated that the 2022 Lexus NX 450h Plus will start at around $47,000. Look forward to having it at Lexus dealerships in the fall of 2021. Lexus estimates the NX 450h Plus can cover 36 miles on electricity alone when the battery is fully charged, which is impressive distance for a plug-in luxury SUV. Making a power pack is achievable using a 120-volt outlet, but the additional range per hour would be very low. Buyers looking to get the most out of their PHEV powertrain should consider using a 240-volt power source at home, which greatly reduces the time it takes to charge the battery. The standard onboard charger 450h Plus can fully recharge the battery in about 4.5 hours, which shouldn't be a problem for buyers plugging it in overnight. More powerful chargers are also available and reduce charging time to around 2.5 hours when the station is 240 volt. The NX 450h Plus S powertrain consists of a 2.5-liter four-cylinder petrol engine combined with plug-in hybrid components and standard all-wheel drive. Lexus hasn't specified a combined output, but we believe it's the same powertrain that powers the Toyota RAV4 Prime, an SUV that shares the same platform as the NX. At Toyota, the gas engine and electric motor combine to produce 302 horsepower. As a further tip, Lexus says the NX 450h Plus accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 6 seconds, which is very similar to the RAV4 Prime's acceleration time. This will make it the fastest 450h Plus model in the NX lineup, which includes the NX 250, turbocharged NX 350, and the regular 350h Hybrid. A 9.8-inch touchscreen is standard, and can be upgraded to a 14-inch display with a combination of virtual and physical controls for the climate system. This is a major departure from other Lexus models, which typically feature a central display mounted away from the driver and controlled by a touchpad. Overall, the interior of the new Lexus NX 2022 is more cohesive and less crowded than its predecessor. The buttons on the steering wheel are bigger than before, which should make it easier to use at a glance. Behind the wheel is a digital instrument panel that complements the high-tech look of the NX. In terms of space, Lexus says it's the Ga K platform that the NX is based on. The Lexus NX 450h Plus comes with a myriad of cool tech features. All models come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wireless connectivity, so you can access your smartphone's entertainment apps and maps without having to plug them in. On the list of options is a 10-inch heads-up display that projects useful information onto the windshield for easy viewing. The navigation system available is now cloud-based, which Lexus says allows for more accurate mapping. The system recognizes when you are about to enter an area with low 4G coverage, and will download maps in advance so that navigation is not interrupted. On the safety side, the NX 450h Plus will be equipped with forward collision warning, lane launch, adaptive cruise control and road recognition. Several enhancements are also present on the NX, such as the driver while on foot is at the crosswalk when turning left or right, and sounding a warning and possibly signaling the brakes when turning left when approaching traffic. The blind spot monitor now looks for traffic or cyclists approaching from behind the vehicle, and will prevent the door from opening in the event of a possible collision.
Thank you.